Smith with RealLifeAgriculture.com. I'm joined today by Joe Vink at the Momentum Tour. We are talking about Extend Soybeans. What, uh, what is this? <laughs> so Extend Soybeans are our newest uh, herbicide tolerant trait in soybeans. And uh, Extend Soybeans are dicamba tolerance stacked on top of Roundup Ready 2 yield soybeans. Okay. So why? Why dicamba? What does this offer for farmers? Yeah, so the, the biggest benefit to, to dicamba is that we're getting early season residual weed control of broadleaf weeds, which we're not used to seeing with, with Roundup. And so some of the benefits uh, around having early season weed control is that soybeans are not competitive early season with, with weeds. And when you have a product that uh, like dicamba that can control that, that early flush uh, and make sure that the soybeans uh, get off to a good start with, uh, to maintain that maximum yield potential. Uh, and, and that's really what we're seeing our yield advantage compared to a standard two pass with Roundup. We're seeing about 2.4 bushels per acre uh, increase in yield when you uh, add dicamba early on uh, to, to, the, to your weed management program. Okay. Now, what are, uh, tell me about what weeds does this control? Where does it really shine? So, so in the West, uh, we, we have had the introduction of, of a glyphosate-resistant weed, kochia. Uh, dicamba is excellent on controlling glyphosate-resistant kochia. And it's also really good in terms of broad-spectrum, broadleaf weed control. Uh, it really picks up on the weaknesses of, of those hard-to-control weeds that, that uh, with Roundup Weathermax, such as uh, the buckwheat uh, species and, uh, and the smartweed species, like Lady's Thumb. All right, Joe, uh, we've got, uh, thankfully, a bit of a storyboard here because, of course, uh, when we're working with a new system, I have to familiarize growers with how this is going to work best. Uh, I think it's really neat. There's sort of several key points that Monsanto's sort of bringing home for farmers in using this system. Uh, why the nozzle uh, recommendation? So, so with the introduction of a new herbicide-tolerant uh, trait, of course, there are issues of, of off-target uh, movement of uh, dicamba and round up to off-target uh, um, crops in neighboring fields. And so uh, when we launched this technology, uh, the goal is really to make sure that we're, we're maximizing the weed control in the grower's field and keeping the herbicide uh, where it needs to be uh, to get full value out of this system. And so some of the ways that, that we'll be uh, uh, actively promoting to make sure that we're using dicamba and glyphosate responsibly is by making sure that growers are using nozzles that produce very coarse to ultra coarse droplets really uh, minimizing the percentage of driftable driftable fines uh, that can move across across a field uh, you know main, making sure that our sprayer speeds are, are lower than 25 kilometers per hour because as you increase speed you have to increase pressure uh, which which uh, has a higher potential for for smaller droplets and more drift um, and really just making sure that we, we apply it during uh, proper wind speeds, so from 3 to 15 kilometers per hour, and making sure that that wind is moving away from, from sensitive crops. Uh, other ways to make sure that uh, dicamba stays where it needs to be uh, is by applying it early. So not only do you see the, the benefit in terms of weed control from that early application, but you also uh, have a, a stewardship benefit in a sense is that uh, when, you, when you spray the herbicide early, there's less chance for other sensitive crops to be nearby uh, and making sure that we're doing the responsible uh, thing with, with dicamba. So when can farmers look forward to seeing this in their fields? So the Roundup Ready to extend soybeans, uh, are, we're still waiting on key export approvals uh, globally. We are fully registered both for over-the-top use of dicamba in soybeans and uh, the biotech trait in Canada. And so we expect to have sales for extend soybeans in the fall of 2015 in anticipation of planting in the spring of 2016. Okay, thank you so much, Joe. Thank you.